We made it to Antarctica, and after nearly two full years of being absent from this remarkable place, it's good to know it's still here. This cutting edge ship has been specially designed to deal with the most difficult ice conditions, and we are bringing it into the world that it was built for. This is the first of these epic voyages up into the northern parts of our planet in spring. We will now do this all the time. Great spotters found the bear, and so we just parked in the ice. All the photographers were out on deck with their long lenses. Then it started rolling right in front of the ship. We have what I reckon is over 200 whales, maybe three, perhaps even 400 fin whales, and we're absolutely surrounded by them. We actually saw some narwhal as we were coming in. This is pretty much the only place on the planet where you can see them. Today has been special because something remarkable happened. A decree was signed to declare an extension of the Galapagos Marine Reserve by 60,000 square kilometers. Limblad Expeditions have been sailing the Galapagos Island for more than 50 years, and we're super excited to launch the National Geographic Islander 2. So on October 23rd, 2022, 48 guests and myself christened the National Geographic Islander 2 off the island of Santa Cruz. I am the first woman to be asked to be the godmother of all the Limblad expedition ships. The Dropcan project is an incredible example of the commitment of Lindblad expeditions by offering our ships as a platform for research here in the Galapagos Islands. This allows us to record and understand who's living and passing by in these deep sea waters. What will I take with me? This incredible sense of, of peace and calm and quiet, it's overwhelming. This is just beyond belief, you know, this is the way to get outside again.